Hello and welcome back to another podcast. And today we will be going over different things about the history of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day is a national holiday in the United States. And Thanksgiving 2021 occurs on Thursday, November 25th. In 1621, the Plymouth colonists and the Wampanoag shared an autumn harvest feast that is acknowledged today as one of the first Thanksgiving celebrations in the colonies. For more than two centuries, days of Thanksgiving were celebrated by individual colonies and states. It wasn't until 1863, in the midst of the Civil War, that President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed a National Thanksgiving Day to be held each November. Thanksgiving at Plymouth In September 1620, a small ship called the Mayflower left Plymouth, England, carrying 102 passengers, an assortment of religious separatists, seeking a new home where they could freely practice their faith and other individuals lured by the promise of prosperity and land ownership in the new world. After a treacherous and uncomfortable crossing that lasted 66 days, they dropped an anchor near the tip of Cape Cod, far north of their intended destination at the mouth of the Hudson River. One month later, the Mayflower crossed Massachusetts Bay, where the pilgrims, as they are now commonly known, began the work of establishing a village at Plymouth. Throughout that first brutal winter, most of the colonists remained on board the ship where they suffered from exposure, scurvy, and outbreaks of contagious disease. Only half of the Mayflower's original passengers and crew lived to see their first New England spring. In March, the remaining settlers moved ashore where they received an astonishing visit from a member of the Abenaki tribe who greeted them in English. Several days later, he returned with another Native American, Squanto, a member of the Pawtuxt tribe who had been kidnapped by an English sheep captain and sold into slavery before escaping to London and returning to his homeland exploratory expedition. Squanto taught the pilgrims weakened by by malnourishing and illness how to cultivate corn, extract sap from mango trees, catch fish in the rivers, and avoid poisonous plants. He also helped the settlers forge an alliance with the Wampanoag, a local tribe which would endure for more than 50 years and tragically remains one of the sole examples of harmony between European colonists and Native Americans. In November 1620, after the Pilgrims' first corn harvest proved successful, Governor William Bradford organized a celebratory feast and invited a group of the fledgling colonies' Native American allies, including the Wampanoag chief, Masala Sweet. Now remembered as Americans' first Thanksgiving, although the Pilgrims themselves may not have used the term at the time, the festival lasted for three days. Well, that- while no record exists of the first Thanksgiving exact menu, much of what we know about what happened at the first Thanksgiving comes from Pilgrim Chronicler Edward Winslow, who wrote, Our harvest being gotten in, our governor sent four men on fowling, that so we might after a special manner rejoice together after we had gathered the fruits of our labors. They four in one day killed as much fowl as with a yittle help, Besides, served the company almost a week. At which time, amongst other recreations, we exercised our arms, many of the Indians coming amongst us, and amongst the rest their greatest king, Masolt, with some ninety men, whom for three days we entertained, feasted, and they went out and killed five deer, which they brought to the plantation and bestowed on our governor and upon the captain and others. And although it may be not always so plentiful as it was at this time with us, yet by the goodness of God we are so far from what that we often wish you partakers of our plenty. Historians have suggested that many of the dishes were likely prepared using traditional Native American spices and cooking methods. Because the pilgrims had no oven and the Mayflower sugar supply had dwindled by the fall of 1620. 
The meal did not feature pies, cakes, or other desserts, which have become a hallmark of contemporary celebrations. Pilgrims held their second Thanksgiving celebration in 1623 to mark the end of a long drought that had threatened the year's harvest and prompted Governor Bradford to call for a religious fast. Days of fasting and Thanksgiving on an annual or occasional basis became common practice in other New England settlements as well. During the American Revolution, the Continental Congress designated one or more days of Thanksgiving a year, and in 1789, George Washington issued the first Thanksgiving proclamation by the national government of the United States. In it, he called upon Americans to express their gratitude for the happy conclusion to the country's war of independence, the successful ratification of the U.S. Constitution. His successors, John Adams and James Madison, also designated days of thanks during their presidencies. In 1817, New York became the first of several states to officially adopt an annual Thanksgiving holiday. Each celebrated it on a different day, however, and the American South. Each celebrated it on a different day, however, and the American South remained largely unfamiliar with the tradition. In 1827, the noted magazine editor and prolific writer, prolific writer Sarah Josepha Hale, author, among countless other things, of the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb, launched a campaign to establish Thanksgiving as a national holiday for 36 years. She published numerous editorials and sent scores of letters to Governor Sanders, presidents, and other politicians, earning her the nickname, The Mother of Thanksgiving. Abraham Lincoln finally heeded her request in 1863 at the height of the Civil War in a proclamation entreating all Americans to ask God to commend to his tender care of all those who have become widows, orphans, mourners, or sufferers in the lamentable civil strife, and to heal the wounds of the nation, he scheduled Thanksgiving for the final Thursday in November, and it was celebrated on that day every year until 1939 when Franklin D. Roosevelt moved the holiday up a week in an attempt to spur retail sales during the Great Depression. Roosevelt's plan, known derisingly as the Franksgiving, was met with a passionate opposition in, and in 1941, the president reluctantly signed a bill making Thanksgiving the fourth th Thursday in November. Thanksgiving Traditions and Rituals In many American households, the Thanksgiving celebration has lost much of its original religious significance. Instead, it now centers on cooking and sharing a bountiful meal with family, friends, turkey, a Thanksgiving staple so ambiguous. It has become all that synonymous with the holiday may or may not have been on offer when the pilgrims hosted the inaugural feast in 1621. Today, however, nearly 90% of Americans eat the bird, whether roasted, baked, or deep fried on Thanksgiving. According to the National Turkey Federation, other traditional foods include stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. Volunteering is a common Thanksgiving Day activity, and communities often hold food drives and host free dinners for the less fortunate. Parades have also become an integral part of the holiday in cities and towns across the United States. Presented by Macy's Department Store since 1924, New York City's Thanksgiving Day Parade is the largest and most famous, attracting some 2 to 3 million spectators along its 2.5 mile route and drawing an enormous television audience. It typically features marching bands, performance, elaborate floats conveying various celebrities and giant balloons shaped like cartoon characters. Beginning in the mid-20th century, and perhaps even earlier, the President of the United States has part of one or two Thanksgiving turkeys each year, sparing the birds from slaughter and sending them to a farm for retirement. A number of U.S. governors has also performed the annual turkey pardoning ritual. Thanksgiving Controversies for some scholars, the jury is still out on whether the feast at Plymouth really constituted the first Thanksgiving in the United States. Indeed, historians have recorded other ceremonies of thanks among European settlers in North America that predate the Pilgrim celebration in 1565. For instance, the Spanish explorer Pedro Menendez de Alvila 
invited members of the local Camuca tribe to a dinner in St. Augustine, Florida, after holding a mass to thank God for his crew's safe arrival on December 4, 1619, when 38 British settlers reached a site known as Berkeley Hundred on the banks of Virginia's James River, they read a proclamation designating the date as a day of thanksgiving to Almighty God. Some Native Americans and many others take issue with how the Thanksgiving story is, is presented to the American public and especially to the school children in their view. The traditional narrative paints a deceptively sunny portrait of relations during of relations between the pilgrims and the Wampanoag people, masking the long and bloody history of conflict between Native Americans and European settlers that resulted in deaths of tens of thousands since 1970. Protesters have gathered on the day designated as Thanksgiving at the top of Coles Hill, which overlooks Plymouth Rock, to commemorate a national day of mourning. Similar events are held in other parts of the country. Thanksgiving Ancient Origins Although the American concept of Thanksgiving developed in the colonies of New England, its roots can be traced back to the other side of the Atlantic, both the separatists who came over on the Mayflower and the Puritans who arrived soon after brought with them a tradition of providential holidays, days of fasting during difficult or pivotal moments, and days of feasting and celebration to thank God in times of plenty. As an unusual celebration of the harvest and its bounty, moreover, Thanksgiving falls under a category of festivals that spans cultures, continents, and millennia in ancient times. The Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans feasted and paid tribute to their gods after the fall harvest. Thanksgiving also bears a resemblance to the ancient Jewish harvest festival of Sukkot. Finally, historians have noticed that Native Americans had a rich tradition of commemorating the fall harvest with feasting and merrymaking long before Europeans set foot on American shores. That is it for today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.